rights in terms of right of the public's access. That's fully protected in it. What we also uh, requested that uh, uh, that they put in they put in a little balance into the Freedom of Information Act request by um, protecting us against. Um, I guess you could compare it to protections given in normal litigation against burdensome or uh, frivolous type requests that we could refuse to, uh, this is what we suggest, create some sort of uh, standard by which if uh, we're being overly burdened or the, the request is frivolous, they would not respond to it. And in addition, to be able to charge um, uh, a certain, same thing as the federal law, charge a certain class of of uh, uh, requesters, which are not newspapers, not educational facilities, not anything like that, but basically the actual cost of providing them the information, which would be a, um, you know, uh, 35 cents per page and up to $45 an hour of, of time, above two hours in work, which quite frankly, um, uh, we think is only fair given the fact that every time we spend money on this, we, we take it, that money comes from education or in the municipal side as well. It comes from the municipal side. And if it's a reasonable, appropriate, in fact, it's, um, extremely extensive request, it's appropriate, we'd be happy to respond to it. We just want some consistent protection, which is given at the federal level. And uh, so that's what our recommendation is. Okay. Any other comments or concern to that? Thank you, Kim and David, for putting that together. We'll um, get that typed up and signed tomorrow then. Okay. Any committee reports? Kate? Teaching and Learning will have their social studies workshop on May 24th at the uh, Lee of Silica Library. That um, workshop, it hasn't been moved. I'm not sure. See the. So it'll be on, it'll be in our website. Yes. Mm -hmm. Check the website. Check the website. Okay. So we're closing in on, on finishing looking at curriculum at this point. Um, it's maybe the second to last um, area that we're going to look at. Yep. Great. Yes. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Kate. Anybody else? If we can drag the meeting out a little bit longer. We could report on the uh, result of the budget referendum, but I think at this time. <laughs> no, I, I, th I think we want to break our previous record for the shortest meeting while David Hillman was on the board. I know. Well, you're going to have to. end it now, you're... we could break the record. You're going to have to stop talking <laughs> if you want us to. Well, maybe we could have David read one of his books. Uh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. We'll well, filibuster. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, I will just report briefly on the superintendent search. Uh, the CRC met last week and went over the um, went over the applications, made some recommendations to the board. We are um, the board took those um, and made some decisions on semifinalists. We are in the interview process now and hope to have finalists um, decided upon. Uh, you know, hopefully within the next week or so, um, and then we'll start in a finalist round. Uh, we hope to have a final announcement by the end of June, or the end of May, beginning of June. That's our hope. So we're moving along, and um, we are very pleased with the quality of candidates, and um, hope to have someone to announce um, relatively quickly. So. Um, do we have any other committee reports? No? All right. Um, school board agenda requests for uh, the June agenda. Anyone? No? Um, announcements of upcoming meetings. I think Kate gave us the announcement for the workshop. And uh, I, for all other meetings, I would suggest checking the website. So I think that ends our, and I think, actually, I think we're a little bit over time uh, from our record, that <laughs> about 10 minutes. It's um, your fault, Mary. I know. We've got June. I know. So um, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Okay. Second? Kate? All those in favor? Seven All right. Seven so Thank you, everyone. Thank <clears throat> you.